Hey guys, Sky Two Quality here. What you're looking at is my repaired Banggood, Banggod like build with the broken armor repair that I just replaced it. And I did break one of my uh, Zing motors. So I had a pack of eight uh, Newbie Drone flow motors. So I might as well go ahead and use that instead of buying uh, some more Zing motors at this point in time. I do like Zing, but uh, I have these motors, I might as well try this is my basher, this is what I fly good with. So I decided to make a clone of it, a duplicate of it, and a very much a budget build of it, right? So I got everything coming from Banggood except for the motors. So we do have the Catalyst-like frame, uh, the Newbie Flow motors that I have, another pack of four. So I have that, and I'm also using, to keep it budget, it's the Racer Star Air 50 Lite ESC, and what do they call that? The what is this called? I guess it's also called, yeah, the Air F7 Lite 3 to 6S. Now, the reviews that I've seen on these uh, so far have not been very impressive. Some people say that the ESCs are good. Some are saying it's bad. If you look for reviews on it on Banggood, all you're going to find is a bunch of guys or people, not necessarily just guys, people saying that, oh, it looks really nice, looks solid. I can't wait to put it on my build. And the only ones that I've actually seen any type of actual review that's actually used it said hey you know what the first one blew on me and the second one worked fine just not a lot of positive stuff right so they're blowing out this esc i want to see if it is as light as they say or, or maybe it could be more durable i'm questioning whether or not they're using the capacitor that's supplied the capacitor that is supplied with this is the 35 volt 1000 microfarad but you know, it looks like a Panasonic, but it, it probably isn't. It's probably some generic thing from, you know, that's probably just not that great. So instead of using that one, I do have some Panasonic 35 volt 1000 microfarads coming in, or I can use this Panasonic 50 volt 1000 microfarad. It's gonna be kind of beefy on the side here, and I won't have enough room to actually use it uh, with the Vista unit. So I might have to do what I did on this one and just connect it to the actual xt60 and it did work great it has been working great like i said i've had this for close to two years now haven't had a problem with the mamba stack here i'm sorry no this is a success stack i have not had a problem with it so i'm probably gonna wind up doing the same thing just because uh, i need i need the size i need the uh i need to make room on the frame itself so 50 amp esc and the air and the air light uh Flight controller together costs forty two dollars right now as of this video on Banggood. I bought two of them after <laughs> after really looking at the reviews. So what I'm going to try to do is put it together with you guys coming up, uh, or I might just show it to you after I put it together because I'm not that great at actually uh, doing the how to videos and soldering stuff on camera without using a lot of uh, foul language. So I would like to skip that if I can, or just maybe just fast forward most of the build. So never done that type of filming before. I'm gonna try it out. And this will be the clone Catalyst-like Bang God build from BG. Hope you guys enjoy this one and more to come. Oh, and just to show you that this, uh, what I do like about this, it's already hooked up five volts. What I do have is a Speedy B. Um, what is it, the Speedy B for the uh, for beta flight. And so I have it, you can connect it with the USB-C port. And what I do like is that it has this 4.5 volt in ground that you can actually literally just put it on the side and you can use that 4.5 volts to actually power up your uh, GPS and collect satellites than, rather than to actually put in my 6S batteries and wait for close to a minute, sometimes two minutes to get satellites. I can just plug this in, let it sit for a little bit, collect the satellites and then put my uh, 6s battery in and fly without wasting battery and just to show you that it does work and hopefully you won't see my bald head on camera but the 4.5 volt is here this pad and this is the ground so let's so go ahead and look at the volt meter and i'll have to go on top to see if that is actually working all right so does it show it yes it does 4.5 volts, so I can just connect that to my uh, SpeedyB controller and get my satellites while I am, you know, waiting for my satellites. Duh. So we will see what this is like, and I will show you guys my durability test on it because Scotty Two Quality does like to crash. Well, I don't like to crash, but 
hey, it happens, right? So we're gonna see if this thing is really durable. I do have some conformal coating on it. I'm trying to go online, trying to figure out what I can do to make this ESC less susceptible to uh, voltage spikes and winning it. So I hope that most of those guys that are making the complaints about it just did not use the capacitor, but I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna try to keep this budget. So that's part one, guys. Uh, look for part two when I actually start building this thing this weekend. I'll try to give you a play-by-play -play of me putting it together. If not, then it'll be like fast-forwarded video and uh, we'll see the results. And I'll also show you how I do the RPM filtering. All right, and my tuning on in the field. So that's what I got for now. Sky Tiquati, sign out.